Hello friends, today we will know about Bruce Willis. Actor Bruce Willis first made a splash on TV in Moonlighting before becoming a big screen star via hits like Die Hard, Pulp Fiction and The Sixth Sense. Bruce Willis' career was launched when he played Detective David Addison on the 1980s TV hit Moonlighting. In 1988, he became a bona fide movie star with the success of the action blockbuster Die Hard. Appearances and subsequent hits such as Pulp Fiction and The Sixth Sense, as well as his marriage to actress Demi Moore, ensured that Willis remained one of the most well-known actors of his generation. His recent films include The Expendables. So, let's know Bruce's story from the beginning, but before that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, then subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more similar videos, as well as press the bell icon below to get update of the new videos and keep increasing your knowledge. Bruce Willis was born on March 19, 1955, in Oberstein, West Germany, where his father was stationed in the U.S. military at the time. Willis is the oldest of David and Marlene Willis's four children, a group that includes three sons and a daughter. In 1957, following his father's discharge from the military, Willis moved with his family to Carneys Point, New Jersey. There, the seeds for the tough, blue-collar edge that's come to define so many of Willis' roles, were planted as he watched his father feed the family through work as a welder and later a factory employee. By all accounts, Willis nicknamed Bruno by his friends, was a popular kid with a good sense of humor who in high school was elected student council president. After graduating from high school, Willis followed in his father's footsteps and found work with his hands, first in a chemical factory and then as a security guard, before returning to the classroom as a drama student at Montclair State University in New Jersey. He quit school after his sophomore year and moved to New York City to try and make it as a working actor. As the story goes, Willis dressed in combat fatigues and, donning a punk haircut, read for the part of David Addison, a wisecracking private investigator. He wowed the TV executives with his gregariousness and charming attitude to beat out some 3,000 other actors. In 1987 Willis returned to film when he was matched with Kim Basinger in the comedy Blind Date. That same year, Willis married fellow actor, Demi Moore. In the summer of 1988, Die Hard, an action-packed flick that cast Willis as muscle-pumping hero John McClane, hit movie screens across the country with a bang. The viewing public didn't care. With Willis doing his own stunts and whipping out memorable one-liners, Die Hard garnered an impressive $81 million at the domestic box office and later spawned four sequels. It was just a start for Willis, who in the ensuing decades has starred in films that have grossed more than $3 billion in ticket sales. He Quentin Tarantino directed smash hit Pulp Fiction. Perhaps sensing the film was going to do well, Willis agreed to take a modest salary $1,685 per week in return for a share of the profits. The film went on to gross more than $100 million from there, a steady run of its followed, from a third installment of the Die Hard series Die Hard, with a vengeance in 1995 to the 1998 sci-fi action thriller Armageddon action heroes and The Expendables. In 2012, he reunited with the film's cast to star in The Expendables 2. Within just one week, the movie had climbed to the number one spot at the box office, bringing in nearly $28.6 million in 1987, Willis married actress Demi Moore. The couple, who divorced in 2000, have three children together, Rumor Willis, Scout LaRue Willis and Tallulah Bell Willis. On March 21, 2009, Willis, who remains close to ex-wife Demi Moore and shares custody of his three children with her, backtracked on his pledge never to marry again, when he tied the knot with model actress Emma Hemming at the Turks and Caicos Islands. They then married again a few days later in a civil ceremony at Willis' California home. Willis and Hemming have two daughters, Mabel Ray and Evelyn Penn. Bruce say, you can't undo the past, but you can certainly not repeat it. So friends, if you liked the video, then share it with your friends, family members, relatives, and especially the children, so that everyone's knowledge keeps increasing. And always stay motivated to do something new. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
so that we can also keep our motivation to make such useful, knowledgeable and inspirational videos. Thank you very much for your valuable time.